Hello, this is part two of sample test questions dealing with perfect competition. Okay, we have the following perfectly competitive firm here. The shaded area represents, the shaded area is gonna represent total revenue. So answer B. Notice here the area of a rectangle is given by width times length. And if we were to look at the area of this rectangle, the width here is going to be $5, which is the price. And the length here is going to be the quantity of units, which is 5. So 5 times 5 would be $25 of total revenue. Question 2. The shaded area represents. So here we have a perfectly competitive firm. What does this shaded area represent? So we see at 5 units of output, Average total cost is $4. This shaded area is going to represent C, total cost. Total cost is just average total cost times quantity. So at five units of output, average total cost is four. So the area of this rectangle, this is a four by five rectangle. Total cost would be $20. Question three, the shaded area represents profit, revenue, total variable cost, or total average cost. Correct answer here is going to be total variable cost. At five units of output, average variable cost looks to be $2.50. So total variable cost is average variable cost times quantity. So the average variable cost here of 2.5 times the quantity of five gives us an answer of $12.50. So the dimensions of this rectangle here, we've got 2.5 width and a length of five. Question four, the shaded area represents profit, total revenue, total cost, or total variable cost. The correct answer this time is going to be A, profit. Profit uh, can be thought of as price minus average total cost times quantity, and that's what we got here, the area of this rectangle. So the, the width here is price minus average total cost which happens to be $1 in this case, 5 minus 4. And if we multiply that over the number of units, which is 5, we're going to get the total profit of $5. Okay, moving on. A slightly different diagram. The shaded area represents, so at 6 units of output, average total cost is 7. Correct answer here is going to be total cost. Answer C. Total cost would be average total cost times quantity. The average total cost is $7 in this case. The quantity is 6, so we get a total cost of $42. Question 6, this shaded area represents. This is going to be price times quantity again. The width is price. The length here is quantity. Price times quantity is total revenue. Answer B. It would be $30 in this example. And finally, question seven. The shaded area represents an economic blank of blank. Well, at six units of output, average total cost is seven and the price is five, so this firm is making an economic loss. Average total cost exceeds price at the profit maximizing output. And recall the profit maximizing output occurs where the marginal cost curve intersects the demand curve or marginal revenue curve. And so to calculate the profit here, uh, we can use price minus average total cost. So the profit per unit is minus $2. This firm is losing $2 on average on each unit. Average total cost exceeds price by $2. If you multiply that over the number of units, we have our economic loss of $12. Okay, that's it.